all right hi guys i hope this angle isn't too awkward i am still trying to figure out how to film the planner i think i got the most for a different table but anyway y'all are here for that so anyway we are here for my business planner walkthrough. So this is the planner that I use now for tracking my business. If you don't know and you're new here, I am a full-time entrepreneur. I'm a business coach. I'm an author. I have my own line of affirmation cards. I'm a speaker. I do contracting. I have a lot going on. So I'm really excited to have a central place to track everything. This is the Louis Vuitton GM size. I actually just got this. I bought her pre-loved because she was sold out everywhere and she's been authenticated. Uh, the seller I bought it from sent it in the original packaging and just sent me a lot of bonus inserts too, which you guys will see in here. So super excited about that. I've been meaning to get this video up forever, but... I keep changing my mind on how I want it to be organized and what inserts I want to use in terms of like writing. So you will definitely, if you are interested in this video does well, see more videos on my business planner. So if you are interested in a walkthrough of the Louis Vuitton GM, stay tuned and keep watching. So here is the planner. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and open her up and let's get into it. So this section I know for sure is gonna change just because I actually need the storage space of these pockets. But if you've never seen the GM before, it's very different than the MM, which if you all saw that video, I'll link it down in the description. My MM, the inside has a bunch of credit card slots, which makes it really easy to do decor. But here we just have two folders. So these I bought from Etsy from the shop uh, Pinkamono Papers. She has a lot of really nice stickers too. So I just threw these in here. Let me go ahead and clip this one back. The paper clips are kind of big. So anyway, so that's what goes there. And then this little card came in a cloth and paper box. Um, it says the purpose of the first draft is not to get it right, but to get it written. So I just have that in here because it's cute. And then these little paper clips, these came from Etsy. I don't want to mess up the shop. It either came from Little Miss Daisy Rose or another one, but I'll link these all in the description box. And then also here, I just keep some stickers on hand, mainly because this planner has been coming back and forth with me to my office. At some point, it's going to live somewhere, but it's just been coming back and forth. So these are just a ton of stickers from cloth and paper that I am obsessed with. So I just went ahead and stuck them here in this side pocket. So the Sharpie pen, it came in a set with a ton of different colors. It's cool, it's not the best pen in the world, but it's not awful, so I just leave it here for now. So now you can get into how things are organized. So the first thing we actually have here is a frosted divider. This came in a set from Planner Press, and I haven't used the rest of the dividers yet just because I haven't committed to a layout but I actually put this on top just because I've noticed with both Louis Vuitton planners whatever insert is the very first one it tends to get bent like around the, the rings like it, the paper itself gets bent so when I had this dashboard it was getting bent a lot so I put this in front and it's been holding up really well so this next sheet is actually a piece of vellum that I made myself. I made this in Canva. I actually have a video on my Instagram page about how I did this. Let me know if you want a full YouTube walkthrough. But anyway, I made this in Canva with the graphics and then I printed it on vellum paper that I bought from Staples and I hole punched it, cut the slits in the side. So I just made my own little inbox dashboard and I thought it was really cute. So the inbox section of my planner is technically like the main section of the planner, if that makes any sense. So this little bookmark, it says plan for the week. This came from Clever Planner on Etsy. This just reminds me of like where I am in the planner. So this will move around a little bit. So the first set of inserts are vertical weekly undated from cloth and paper. And here's what they look like. And I love this layout. This is a layout that I'm definitely committing to for 2021. And I love that you can like cover up the dates with stickers and you can kind of turn it into whatever you want. And that's what my plan is. So I, in this planner, I'm not gonna be a day-to-day -day planner. That's what my MM is for. This is more so what are my priorities 
task, things I need to be thinking about for this current week. So when I decorate this, I'm going to basically put like those cloth and paper stickers across the top and then there would be different categories. So one may be people to call, one may be, you know, pitches to send, people to follow up with, social media, you know, just different things I need to prioritize. So it's kind of just like my weekly task list, but it's not going to be daily oriented. It's more so like what bucket does it fall in? So I have like a Trello board that this is going to be modeled after where I have like different um, track, different task cards I can't talk today like different cards within there where it's like one says administrative task marketing task finance task so that's what's going to be in here okay and I have my phone so I can remember because I literally typed out like what my sections were and I just committed to this new layout today so anyway this is the first section and I'm going to flip through. I took out the pages that I wrote on because my handwriting is really bad and I don't want y'all to talk about me. So this dashboard is from Clever Planner and I actually ad adhesed a pocket on the back. This came from Michaels in a set. So cute little pocket. This is my strategic projects section. So for strategic projects, project planning, long-term things, things that are going to take me more than a week to get done, we'll go in this section. So the first thing I have is a couple of half sheets from cloth and paper. They have the little like dates on the bottom. Um, you can also use it for habit tracking, but I th actually spread out this bundle. I believe this came in a subscription box. I can't remember, but I thought these were so cute. And on the back, you have like little to-do list templates. So I threw these in a couple places here and the agenda just to use as I see fit. And then here, I believe these project planning worksheets came from Sesame, but I'm gonna have to double check because I'm pretty, I think I might be lying to y'all, but this is a printable I bought on Etsy. And I think it's so cute. Let me actually open up and show you all up close. So it says project at the top. What I've been doing is actually writing the name of the project across the top. So one of my projects is like, you know, operation efficiency so I wrote it across the top and then you have space to write a description a start date due date different action items and I've been customizing this too because my action items are longer than the five bullet points and I've also been putting posting notes on here you know source and supplies details and it's also I printed it double-sided so I have more than you know more than one per so I've already used two of these sheets again I took them out before this video but I really really like this worksheet I feel like I've been on a hunt for the perfect project plan um insert I think I'm close but I'm not sure yet we'll see what else I can find so then I have another uh dashboard from Clever Planner over on Etsy then we have more of those half sheets and then we have another version of the vertical we've gone to so this one i printed from etsy i think this is from sesame as well i'm not 100 percent sure i will again link it down below but this i actually bought before i ordered the cloth and paper ones and i ordered the cloth and paper ones because i was getting frustrated with printing these because i wasn't cutting them to be the right size like i was really struggling a lot of the downloads I was getting didn't have cut lines and I was just jacking it up but I got a new cutting machine so my cutting has been way 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 better right um and then this sheet actually got messed up because for some reason I use so I use heavy paper 32 pound paper for this and this got cut caught in the whole bunch so like the bottom half of this ripped off which is why it's like ripped but I'm like I'm not the one to paper away so I just cut it and was like I'm gonna use this so for now this is what it is but yeah definitely printing on like heavier paper definitely makes a difference but this one was actually cut a lot better so here we have a four card slot insert this came from cloth and paper and in here I put a couple things so I bought a stack of these transparent cards from a really random ID company because I really wanted these and I know people on Etsy sell them but they're like two dollars three dollars four dollars for one and I got a whole set of a hundred for like fifteen dollars and I know a hundred is excessive so I'll probably be giving some away but it was more cost effective because I didn't know how many task cards I wanted. So I've made the task cards that go on my MM already. Those are like my morning routine, evening routines, but I haven't done my business ones. I just went ahead and just put the post-it notes on here. And these posters are from cloth and paper. So these ultimately will be like routine task cards. So if you want a video on how I make task cards, let me know down in the comments because I can totally show you. And then these other two cards, this one came from Planner Press. 
early mornings big shirts messy hair vogue and coffee and then this card is actually one that i randomly bought at hallmark a couple years back it's just like the footprints prayer so anyway so i just have this here um i definitely see these two being moved because i've ordered more adhesive pockets so that way this could be all task cards um i have a vision for how i want these task cards to be but i haven't committed to one yet so anyway so yeah this pocket came from cloth and paper as i said and then this next insert dashboard came from clever planner and then we have the youtube planner worksheet so these are ones that i definitely struggled to cut as you can tell they're smaller than everything else but i think i thought they were so cute i didn't want to throw it out so again i did get a new cutting board so this will not look as janky the next time but i do want to use it so i bought these printables on etsy and i did actually use them so my last time filming for youtube i used these to map out my talking points and do everything and it was really effective so this is my youtube section oh wait let me go back i didn't even tell y'all what i was going to use this section for uh my bad so this section this second like undated vertical weekly section this is going to be used for content ideas and content planning so i create a ton of content outside of just youtube i create content for instagram live facebook facebook groups instagram tv twitter threads i create free opt-ins i create newsletters so same concept i'm going to cover up the dates and then each bucket will just be a space for me to brainstorm ideas for each like thing so it'll be like facebook group twitter email instagram igtv facebook live you know miscellaneous ideas to so just jot down so again the next section then is the i'm flipping ahead the youtube content for me to map out my videos and again, I do have a video on how to batch create YouTube content, which is where these come in handy. And then the next section, this is actually a dashboard. Wait, hold on. So this is a dashboard that I bought by itself. I don't know if I bought this from Planner Press or Little Miss Fancy Plans. I can't remember, but I attached these adhesive pockets. And these adhesive pockets came from Planner Press. So I put them on the middle, and then all of these cards came from Planner Press. So she has a card where you can get it customized with your name. And then I have these quotes. Those were super cute. And then this dashboard. Oh, this one doesn't come out. I think this was from cloth and paper not really sure but it's vellum and then the rest of the dashboards are here for the most part are ones that i made myself so this is a collage of images i got off of my pinterest like you know vision board so this is like a little vision board um this isn't something that i'm like selling or giving away which is why i'm using stuff off of pinterest but this is just like my lux life love life um dashboard and i made a ton of these so you're gonna see a lot of like these collage styles in here but because like you know my vision board is very close to side to my business and like will be the result of my of the work i do in my business i really wanted to see that in here so that's that and then i have a post-it note dashboard this dashboard is from planner press and then i put some sticky notes from cloth and paper on here um this was just really really cute so I love that. Only thing is I just I wish this was like a thicker paper. I know it's on vellum, but that's my only like pet peeve with that one. We have more of those half paper inserts. Again, I think this came in the cloth and paper subscription box. So this section, the 2020 section, um, when I bought this planner, the lady who sent it to me, she sent me 2020 and 2021 dated inserts. So it's from the brand City Girl Planners. And you know i just basically took out the front page and then i took out the month of october and then when october's over i'll put in november so what i wanted to use these for because i really don't do like you know this horizontal layout but because they have lines that can work with it i'm going to use this section for my coaching to do's so for me to document from a coaching standpoint like what do i need to do but when i say coaching i don't mean the coaching i do as a as a you know with my clients because that's where my strategic projects come in if i'm making major overhauls to my programs that's a strategic project this section is really about what i need to do for the coaching programs i'm in you know i'm in a couple coaching programs and i need to make sure i keep up with my work different things i have going on so again i'm going to be documenting like various to do's projects what i'm watching what i'm listening to things like that 
then this dashboard i have a video here on youtube about how i made this i made the the, the dashboard itself in canva i've laminated and i put these different post-it notes in here so now we are in my goal section. So this is a printable from Little Miss Fancy Plans. Again, this is from back when I didn't know how to cut for real. So it's a little bit shorter, but I'm still gonna use it. So I went ahead and covered up the dates with like some little page flags, but they're similar to the other two. Like they just have, you know, Monday through Saturday. Again, you can tell I love this layout, but I think it just gives me a lot of room to be uh, creative with how I want to decorate and also how I want to plan but I prefer lines like I know people use like that like that horizontal layout but I need lines I don't like blank boxes so this section is going to be for short-term goal setting so 90 day type goals 30 day type goals that's what's going to go in here and then the next section I have a dashboard that I made from Pinterest graphics and then I have my long-term goal section. So this is the five-year plan insert from Cloth and Paper. If you've seen this, you know this insert is really detailed. It comes with health and finance and all kind of stuff. So I pulled out two sections of the personal of the five-year plan. I pulled out the professional section, so you can map out your main goal, strategy, resources, personal audit, obstacles. You know, yearly goals, monthly goals, weekly goals, daily goals, etc. You have a space for vision boarding to document milestones and then i pulled out the financial one because again my financial goals are very much tied to my business so that's what this section is okay and then the last one okay so this dashboard came in the planner i bought from michael's the recollections one it was my business planner but i had to get this one so this is what the dashboard looks like but then i had some leftover like laminated paper and so i was trying to see like can i make a little like folder pocket from this and so i cut the, the laminate diagonal and i used a glue gun to put it on there and it it holds but obviously you can tell with the glue gun you can see the glue which is really ugly so this was not clear this would work but it's clear so you can see it but I just I don't know I didn't want to throw it out so I just went ahead and kept it and I threw this post this little um decor on here from pink Mono papers I just thought it was so adorable so it's just like a little pocket and it's super cute so let me put this back in correctly <laughs> A very thick dashboard like this is what i want that um that post-it note inbox to be like thick like this and this is another lux life dashboard i made from pinterest and the last section is my business finances and this is from um elmon paper co and it's a collaboration with maddie plans and I bought both the remaining for uh, for this year and for 2021 it's their business finance bundle and I bought the blank header set, blank header one so I could go ahead and write in like, you know, whatever I wanted in terms of like the names of things. So here's how the insert looks. And then again, you can just go in here and track everything you want. So I'm probably going to cover up some of these like with stickers just because and services like i don't really track some of these things like for example you know we don't really track quantity it's really more about like what plan are you on payment plan wise how long is your program things like that so i'm really excited to try this out and see how it goes but i really like these inserts so and l l mom paper co shipping was pretty fast cloth and paper shipping is really really fast pa planner press is like the slowest i've ever seen but it's worth it her quality is great so just don't order if you're in a hurry and then the last thing on here is like a louis vuitton like ruler i just left it on here because it's vintage and it's really cute so anyway and then to wrap up so in the pocket of the planner i have some posted to do post-it notes some fancy plans i have some transparent post-it notes these are so adorable from um planner press and then I have this inbox zero card that came in the cloth and paper subscription box. I just thought it was so cute. And then the other thing I have are some extra posted notes and flags from cloth and paper. I left them in the plastic just because I didn't want them to get like bent up. But I just grabbed a couple of shades. So I have the cashmere, the nude, and then the square flag. I just stuck them in the back so that if I want to do more planning, I have, you know, stuff on hand. So 
my next step is this week honestly probably when i'm done finishing this i want to go in and put in some deco want to put in some stickers and start my planning for the rest of the week but wanted to show y'all because i've been talking about this planner on twitter forever and everybody's been like girl can you just do the walkthrough so i'd love it if you could let me know down in the comments do you use a physical planner for your business and if you do what kind of sections you have because i might change my whole planner up to be like you <laughs> also let me know do you want more videos on this planner would you like to see a monthly walkthrough weekly walkthrough i've been watching some plan with me videos and i like how those videos are really just about how they're decorating it they're not actually writing stuff down and that's my biggest fear with this is that like my handwriting is not the best i write like i'm a pharmacist and you know people on youtube can be a little mean so um so let me know like if you want plan with me videos so with that subscribe to this channel i will be chatting with you all in the comments talk to you soon bye